Okay, today I want to talk to you about trophic levels. Trophic levels are where you look at a food web or one food chain and you see the amount of biomass that accumulates or decumulates as you go up the food chain. So let me show you. So at the very bottom of the food chain is always going to be your plants. And let's say that we have um, 10,000 pounds or in the metric system we use, let's say, grams and um, of plants of let's say hay and alfalfa that um, an animal can eat. So this is grass. The next trophic level up, what eats grass? Let's say, let's say a mouse eats grass. So the mouse is over here and you, all, you lose 90% of your energy as heat as you eat up the food chain. So it's actually really inefficient to eat really high up on the food chain. Um, it's most efficient to eat grains or, or vegetables or fruits because they are the lowest on the food chain. Um, so you're going to say, what's 10%? What do you get to keep? The mouse gets to keep 10% of what it eats. So let's say out of 10,000 grams of um, grain that a mouse would eat, it would the mice would only get to keep 1,000 grams of that. 10,000 grams of biomass. Biomass is any plant matter that's been dried and weighed. And then we go up the food chain. What eats mice? Let's say a snake eats mice. So what is 10% of 1,000? It's 100. You just move the decimal place over one. It's 100 grams. So the snake would get to keep 100 grams of that 10,000 grams of biomass that it eats. And then what eats a snake? Um, an owl, an owl or a, an eagle or a large predator bird, an owl at the top of the food chain would only get to keep 10 grams of that biomass. So as an animal eats up the food chain, it, it has lost its amount of biomass energy through heat. So you get to lose 90% as heat as you eat up the food chain. And I will talk about bioaccumulation in this way as well.